Hey guys, welcome to another automation series video today. In today's video, we'll be showing you how you can use Anspawn AWX to create a virtual machine from a template in VMware. Um, so you need actually vCenter in this and have a template already pre-created for this. Um, if you don't have one, um, you can create one easily in vCenter. It's not too hard, um, but that's a prereq essentially for this video and you know having AWX installed and all that. But if you already have all that ready, um, here's how you can create a playbook to do so. So let's get started. All right, so what we'll do here is open up our GitLab and edit and create um, a create VM playbook in our Ansible playbooks repository. So we'll create a new file. We'll call it createVM.yaml. And we'll start off with your normal, you know, header. Um, we'll set the name to be create VM from vCenter template. Um, we'll set the host to just be localhost in this case so that it will just run locally. Um, we'll also just set the connection also to local as well as gather facts to, to be uh, false here. And then what we'll do is create the task. So the task is essentially to clone template to new virtual machine and we'll use the community collection um, community vmware and then vmware guest here um, community yep i spelled that right um, and we'll set the following parameters so we all not validate certs certs um, because we're using just the self-sign VMware cert for vCenter. Um, but if, if you aren't using the self-sign and you have, you know, actual cert and it's actually validated, you don't need to do this, but I don't. So we're going to set that. Then we'll set the name of the new template to be um, VM name as a parameter um, so that we'll specify when we create it. Um, then we'll use the following template. So I created a template called all eight dragon for Oracle Linux eight, and then just drag it because I just name everything dragon. Um, we will set the data center, um, to be data center. So by default, I have VMware. I just created a new data center and I just left it called data center. But if you named it differently, you can do that. Um, I'm also going to put it in at the resource pool. Did I spell it right? Resource pool. Um, that's called Dragon. Um, if you don't have a resource pool, you don't need to specify it, but I just do have a resource pool to kind of separate um, my resources here. Um, you will need to set the folder. So I don't do any folders for, for my stuff. So I'm just gonna do slash, but if you do have folders, you can just add it here. And then the state will be power um, on. So we're gonna power it on. And then we'll wait for IP address also which essentially will just look at the VMware guest tools and make sure that the guest actually gets an IP before it, this task essentially finishes. So this will easily create a new VM from the template. But what we also want to do is configure the VM so that it sets the host name for the VM and well as the IP that we specify. So what we'll do here is um, set up another uh, set of stuff that we all set VM IP and host name. Um, so in this case, we're going to set the host to be uh, 172.16.1.200. So that is just the default IP that I have for the template. So whenever I, I spin up a new template, it will always be this IP. So whatever IP that you specify in your template, um, this is the IP that you would use for your host. Then what we'll do here is um, create a task and we'll do update IP and we'll use the Ansible built-in um, line line in file module and we'll set the path sysconfig network scripts ifcfg ens192 um, so I know that this is my network interface specifically for this uh, machine and what I'm going to do is use the regex which really, I'm not really regex, and let's be honest. Um, I'm just kind of comparing where I will look for the address 172.1.200, and I will replace that line with essentially saying um, IP address equals ADDR equals, and then the new IP that I want to specify, IP. So it will update that line, and then we'll update the host name also update host name 
an Ansible built-in host name. And what we'll do is essentially just set the host name to be host name, whatever we specify, dot dragon dot local. And then what we'll need to do is also reboot the machine just to apply um, the settings. Now, the the thing about like these playbooks is they should be item opponent, um, but we're gonna do it a little bit differently because it's hard to um, essentially set an IP or use an existing IP and then have it change to a different IP. So what we're gonna actually just do is just use the Ansible built-in command. We're gonna init six it, which just reboots the machine. But what we're going to do is ignore errors, um, and we'll set that to true. So essentially. I know this will always fail, but it will always reboot. Um, the thing is, it expects it to come back uh, back on the same IP, and that's the problem. Um, so we'll just let it reboot and just assume everything's essentially okay. Um, and then I'll also just pause for 30 seconds to wait for reboot, essentially. Um, this is just good uh, when I will use this in a workflow so that it waits for it to actually um, finish rebooting before it starts the next updates or whatever else that I have later on. So I'm going to add the pause module and we'll set the seconds to be 30 seconds. Um, so essentially that is what we have here. So um, with that, we'll set, um, add the inventory. So we want to make sure that we have the IP that we're using in the inventory um, as well as whatever host that we want to create here next. So in this case, we'll, we will create like, say for example, example demo two um, is gonna be the host that we create. Um, so what we'll do here is commit this, create VM and commit to main. We'll go back to the project here. We can watch the pipeline finish. Um, I'm kind of curious whether it will validate because I think, okay, it's all good, it validated. Um, I wasn't sure if, if I had like the ignore errors and the Ansible lint and everything. But we did the deploy, it updated our project, it updated the inventory, so we should be all set in AWX. So what we'll do here is go to our AWX, go to templates, and we will add a new template. Um, so we'll do create VM, um, We'll select the inventory to be our inventory. We'll select the playbook to be create VM. We will actually need to create credentials for this um, to use our VMware um, one. Um, so we can add root in because that's what we know for the password. So that is totally fine. Um, we'll add a survey here real quick. So um, the variables that we'll need are VM name. Um, obviously you can put put an actual question in here, like what what's the virtual machine name? I'm just gonna name it the same, um, just to make it easier to read. Um, we'll make sure we enable that. Um, new IP, <coughs> set that, and we will set um, hosting. Okay, so we got those three set. What we need to do though is add the center connections here. So hit the organization's default, um, vcent, VMware vCenter. So this is where you enter your host information um, to log in. We'll save that. And then we'll go back to templates. We'll go here and we'll edit and add that credential also. VMware. Oh, there we go, right there. And add that in. So we should be able to save that. Um, so now what we can do is I will take a look here real quick and look at our DNS zone. And we can use 79. So 79 is open. So what we'll do here is we'll create launch. The VM name will be Dragon Demo 2. We will use 79. And we'll set the host name to be demo2.dragon. Well, well um, let me double check that here real quick. Uh, it just needs to be drag Demo 2. OK, it doesn't need the full, full qualified domain name. There we go. And we will set and launch this. So this is where all the magic happens. It will log into our vCenter um, and clone the template to a new virtual machine. So this test will run here. 
give it a few seconds. All right, so you can see that it cloned the template, it changed, so it, it was successful. It cloned it, created all the things that it needed to create, and then went and updated the IP address. So it updated it from the 172.16.1.200 to be the 1.16.179 here. Um, and updated the host name so that it should actually also be demo2.dragon.local. Um, so as I was saying, this will always fail because it will expect it to reboot back to this IP, but it's not going to, so that is expected. Um, and then you can see it's gonna pause for 30 seconds to wait for everything to reboot. Um, so it doesn't actually verify that it rebooted correctly, but what we can do is we can actually log in. Um, let's set 16.79 in here. So we can see that the host is up. And we can see that the host name is demo2. So essentially, that's the quick way. Um, I mean, let's see, how, how long did that actually take? Um, so 2136 to 2138. Um, so about two minutes ish um, to essentially let my Ansible um, playbook run and create a new VM. So this is what I'm going to do for pretty much all my videos. Um, so I probably reference this video a lot. So, but that's in kind of an easy way for you to just set up and create a VM from a template with Ansible without having to, you know, go and vCenter, right click, you know, create a new VM from template, next, 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 and let it run, um, as well as updating the IP and host name. So, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.